My name is Victor Oku Kanayo. And I'm Odheri Kanayo. And we are the founders of Children in Freedom, Freedom School. School. Yeah. We What's are it? the first mm. Afrocentric school in East Africa and a really innovative school, a change making revolutionary school for black children. The curriculum basically is called the Freedom Curriculum which makes it very unique because we don't want our children to remain where they are. We are competing now with the global society and uh, we took the curriculum from the CBC and other curriculums of the rest of the world, made it together and then included the freedom curriculum, which makes it super unique. Yeah, we want, when you think of curriculum, you can think backwards, what's the outcome you want? And we want this African child who is so proud of themselves, so proud of their heritage, loves the skin that they are in, loves their country, their continent, you know, it's just blessed, feels blessed to be an African. And then turn that child who's like, oh my God, I love myself, into innovating and designing using their talents. And you know, talents are a spectrum. Everyone has their talents. But what, what can you do with it? And in your talent lies your wealth. And then uh, 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 on top of now knowing your talent, then being a global citizen. You see, once you're comfortable with who you are and you love your heritage, you are ready to absorb other people's cultures, other people's um, educations, exposures, without changing who you really are. You, but you improve who you are. You're not trying to replace who you are. And the African for so long has been trying to replace themselves. And I don't care how educated you are, how exposed you are, until you love who you are. Africans, even the most exposed, most educated African, has been trying to replace themselves with a culture and a race that they feel is better, is stronger. So it's so important that our curriculum is preparing these African children to love themselves, then like blow up in their talent and be relevant to the world. So uh, what, what we started doing was actually include an Afrocentric uh, curriculum whereby we teach children about the African history and we teach them to, to understand that black is great, to un also understand that we are the first in the world. I mean, yes. we, we brought civilization to the world. We, we brought knowledge to the world. Everything you see here today that exists was created by black people. There is no two stories about it. And the honest truth is, we want these children here, as little as they are, to understand the truth. As we say, and I've always said, that education is about two things. Number one, teaching children the truth and also exposing them to that same truth. So for us, education is about the truth and the exposure. If you don't expose your children to the right quality learning, and expose them to the truth. They are not learning nothing. For us in Children in Freedom School, we also include Afrocentrism. Afrocentrism is teaching them about who they are, to love themselves. For us, we want to promote our African culture. Let our people begin to love themselves. African-centeredness. The African who is trying to replace uh, who they are is the one trying to change themselves. And it's, it's just, underscores, underlines very strongly the importance of the different Af Afrocentric activities we do here, even how you call yourself, okay? But you're African, Emamo Deri, he's Oko. Yeah. And, you know, that is light and fire in our local language, language. in Kikuyu and in Igbo. And being proud of this, in uh, most Africans, we will have the English name, the African name will be abbreviated, and then your last name. So it will be, let's say, John K. Kamau. So K, it might be karaoke. We'll never know that you're called karaoke. It's, it shows you how you have relegated yourself to yeah. the back, <laughs> to the back bench yeah. and put somebody else's culture, somebody else's name. You yeah. have to remember that other cultures are using their mother tongue. Yeah, yeah. And I call myself maybe John or whatever, I'm, I'm using my mother tongue mm -hmm. or I'm using my people's religion mm -hmm. to name myself. Mm -hmm. So even how you name yourself, how you dress, okay? Yeah. The histories, it, uh, Oku talked about histories. There are a lot of negative African histories, 
there's a lot of positive African histories, affirmative histories that we don't talk about, like the richest man who has ever lived. And this always encourages me and ticks me, you know, is Mansa Musa. And he's been dead 700 years. Surely for 700 years, mankind should have, you know, um, um, uh, gotten to his level, you know, 400 uh, billion dollars. It have gotten to that uh, level, but no, nobody has reached. That shows you black is power. Black is original. Black, if led to grow and mature and learn, is in the best context, the best continent where there are resources that you can manipulate using your talents. In, in this school, uh, there's something that, that is very unique that uh, we've not talked about. That children can learn various languages yes. in this school. The, the only reason why people fight um, wars and, and all that is because uh, people don't understand each other and in Children in Freedom School um, we teach various languages like you can see we teach Kikuyu all the various languages in this country Kisi, Kisi Luo, Kalenjin, Luya, Kalenjin you see and we also teach Chinese we also teach Mandarin, Mandarin and French, uh, and French. I mean, you can imagine that and for us, we, we, we want the children to be global citizens yes. so that wherever they go, they will not become local champions. They will become really superstars. And when they speak with their head up high. Mm. And our curriculum is going to enable the African to be felt. We are never felt or hardly felt. And I'm tired of seeing the first black woman to do this, the first black man to get this. And yet you are the originators of these things. It's like it's a wow moment when a black person gets an, some, I call it for the first time in the 20th century. And I'm like, what? I want this to be normal. And it starts from curriculum. Mm. We can't be so behind that when one of us breaks through, it is international um, uh, knowledge. We're like, oh my God, let's stop. Let's clap for this black person mm. who, has, who has done this feat. It should be normal and it starts with the curriculum. That's why it's important for us once we are rooted in our heritage, mm. in our languages, mm. in ourselves, mm. we can now bloom and go out there and embrace other cultures, others, other ways of doing things because the African, it's time for the African to be felt and for it to be normal, for the African to be great and do great things. In any case, we are coming from the, the greatest continent, the most resourced continent. It's just about time that we are felt.